hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl salicia if you guys are new here make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are a regular welcome back um in today's video we are doing another sit down chit chat meme discussion uh, make sure you guys comment down below and help me pick a name for this segment this uh chit chat that i want to do with you guys kind of on a weekly or a more frequent basis um but yeah help me think of a name because i have not thought of a name yet um yeah so if you guys would like to see me do my makeup achieve this look and talk to you guys about just staying driven staying on the path being guided on whatever your purpose in life is keep watching nothing but a beauty queen she make it look so easy no one else can compare she knows what she do Hey guys, so we're gonna jump right into it. Um, this is a wig that I've had on for a few days now. I am going to refresh her and get ready to go out. So I'm gonna use some uh the Evan foamy lotion, some olive oil um hairspray, some a wax stick, and we're going to refresh our lace as we do our makeup. So um, yeah, I don't feel like taking my wig off and completely redoing it. So this is my little method that I like to do. So I'm gonna show you that. It's very simple. Literally all you need is three product. Like I said, my wig is still on. Um, it just needs to be fresh. So I like to put the mousse on first. A little bit goes a long way, you may got a OD. Um, when you brush the mousse into the hair, it gives like a, a laid a very laid look so i'm just gonna do that and i'm gonna swoop my baby hairs because i go for soft baby hairs when i do wear baby hairs um and sometimes i do curl them but for the most part no today i'm not curling them because they're already kind of laid and i'm just gonna spray right on top of that that wig uh grip from olive oil and then I'm gonna take my wig band and I'm gonna, like you can already see on camera how that already melted. Kind of blends it, it kind of like blends it into your um your complexion, like your forehead. So this way it's less noticeable and it gets very natural. And I'm just gonna tie it down. So how are you guys doing? Happy Sunday. It has been, well, I don't know what day this is gonna be. If you, when you watch it, if you don't watch it the day I dropped it, but um, today is not Sunday, but when this video drops, it will be Sunday. Um, yeah, so happy Sunday to the girls who tuned in. Let me know in the comment section how you guys are doing. I'm doing good, I'm in a good space right now. I am working on being very consistent for you guys. I'm loving this for myself. And I need to get an extension cord, which I am about to get. Um, I meant to bring one with me from the shop, but it just slipped my mind. Cause I have like literally a bag full of them shits that I do not use. Okay, we're just gonna press that back. And then while I have that band on, I'm gonna just close up my part. Cause I feel like the front look a little wide and um, like I said, it's been a few days since, I don't think it's been over a week since I've touched up my hair. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Um, but yeah, so if you guys watched my last video, um, cause I'm working on doing two video videos weekly. If you guys watched my last video, I'm gonna be doing like sit downs. Um, I wanna do more so when I'm doing my hair. But um, honestly, just right now, um, I just want to just get on here, be consistent, and talk to you guys. So, yeah, we're going to do it tonight while I do my makeup because I'm getting ready to go out. Okay, so, yeah. Anyway, first we're going to the nail cam. I need to show you guys my nails. That's going to be something I want to show you guys every video. I don't even know if you guys can see that really good. Um, 
Yes, shout out to the focus. Get into the click clackers. Yeah, so these are my nails. I got them done by Nail by Simone in Cary, North Carolina. Get you, if you need that, she got that, she got you. Um, okay, what do I need to do? I need to do primer. Okay, so uh, a part of the videos that we're gonna be doing here, I haven't named this uh, segment. Oh, I need to go to Sephora. I haven't named this segment yet, but um, this is the second video. Hopefully by the third video, we can have a name what we're gonna call this um but yeah we're gonna dissect some memes and i should have picked one before we started but i'm a meme queen i just love when stuff just you know talks to me um i'm gonna pick something positive and not so much about um Okay, this is a cute one. It says, I don't have any answers or explanations for y'all. I'm literally praying, taking risks, failing, laughing, learning, and then doing it all over again. Charge the stuff you don't like or want to judge to my flesh, not my heart. God bless. And that for me, when I saw that, I was like, yes, because I feel like so many times people, um, you know, I don't know, like they just like look at people from like the outside looking in. And we all know from like, you know, just social media or like, um, what is it called? Like just life in general, people will look at you like from the outside looking in and they'll be like, oh, this person has it all together. Or, you know, like this person has nothing to worry about. And really you don't know what nobody has going on in their life. People be going through so much on a daily basis. It's so crazy. And it's like, if you're just looking at somebody's life from the outside looking in, like, you don't never know, like, how many people are, like, living in a prayer or a manifestation that they have been literally, like, working towards. Like, people be thinking things happen overnight or success is overnight or just because someone looks put together or, you know, they, they carry themselves very well that uh, everything is all good. And really, you don't know what people are going through. You really don't know. You really don't know. Because I'll tell you what, this year has been whooping. Um, woo, I'm trying to work. Well, I'm not trying to work on my person. But he's not lying. I'm trying to not curse so much on camera. Because um, I don't curse a lot. And the curse words that I use, I do like them. I don't feel like they're all bad. I think they're good little cusses. Cusses. Who says cuss and who says curse? Like, I'm not judging nobody. I'm just trying to figure out who uses what lingo. You see what I'm trying to say? um but yeah anyway back to the post um yeah so it's pretty much saying like you know i don't have an answer for you anything i could tell you the only thing a, a successful person or someone who you admire or look up to could tell you is just keep going like you really gotta take them risk you really gotta charge that shit to the game you really gotta like stand on business when you have a goal or your um you know you have a mission that you're trying to accomplish or whatever um it'd be hard out here for a camp it'd be so hard so just do what you can always apply yourself never stop learning that's my biggest key i could give to anybody is never stop learning um oh, oh she's right there yeah, never stop learning. I feel like for people who um, stop learning, you're literally just like, or not stop learning, but like people who think they know it all or feel like they don't have to educate themselves anymore than what they already know. Like you're literally failing yourself because like it's literally, life is a never ending cycle of learning, educating yourself, being aware of certain situations. like no one has the answer no one has all the answers and until you know, celine oh they say get a dog do you get one you want to get rid of it um yeah you have to stay educated i don't even know why i'm doing my eyebrows on camera right now let me do them and come back i know i know where this conversation is we're gonna pick up right back up um 
I had to go do my eyebrows. Did it look good? There you go, right? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, just stay educated. Always stay learning. Don't think you know everything because you don't. Um, life is literally about learning. Um, and even like even in the process of learning, make sure that you are learning and taking advice from the right people because people will steer you so wrong. Or the people sometimes, and this is no shade to our elders, but sometimes because someone's older or because you think someone, um, you know, I don't know, has more life experience, that they're more um what's the word i can't think of the word but yeah that doesn't mean anything they're not more equipped to answer or guide you on certain situations so you do not go in there because that's not where you need to become um so yeah learning but learning from the right people being surrounded by the right people making sure that you know the um what is it the um, advice that you're getting or the teachings and the lessons that you're receiving are, you know, of value. Like we can't be out here just learning from anybody. You cannot be out here just learning from anybody. It's not a good look. And then uh, outside of like manifesting, praying, getting a certain type of mentorship or guidance or whatever, whatever, you gotta be actively doing what it is that you're trying to do. Like, I feel like, People, I've like, I've known people who have said like, oh, I want to do this or I want to do that or, you know, have certain goals and stuff and then they never accomplish it. And it's not that they're not able to accomplish it. It's the fact that they didn't apply themselves. Like literally you have to apply yourself in every aspect of life. If you want something, you want to go to the gym, you want a certain type of body result, you got to apply yourself. You got to go to the gym. Motherfuckers be in the gym. Me. <laughs> for two, three years and still don't have the body goals that they want. Boo, you wasn't to find yourself. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta show up for you. Hold on, let me go kill this dog. Selena Jenkins. You want me to beat you? Go sit down. Yeah. Yeah, you really have to apply yourself. Like, you literally have to apply yourself in this life. Like, nothing's gonna come to you nothing's given to anyone like if you want something you gotta go get it like if you need that do you need that because if you need that you got that you just gotta apply yourself and a little more like you mean it like okay, okay, okay. do you need that do you need that because you can get that because you can get that i've been wanting to give you that because you've been acting like you need that okay and then that's when you start windmilling after that no you swing no and you, you know, you don't be applying yourself. And I'm speaking to myself too, because sometimes I get so comfortable and content with certain areas of my life or certain things I'm working on or whatever. And then, you know, like just applying yourself stops. And it's like, girl, who wants it? Like if you want it, you gotta get it. Like no one's gonna get or give anything to anyone. So yeah. Make sure your guidance is proper. Make sure your the what you're praying is obtainable. Cause sometimes people be having unrealistic goals and then get discouraged. Like obviously that's not anything healthy. Making sure you're not getting distracted. Make sure you're getting quality advice and and uh, and guidance. Cause you know, like I said, just because someone someone is older doesn't mean that they're qualified to help you in certain areas of your life. And really just believing in yourself and applying yourself. And like I said, keep doing it over and over and over because at the end of the day, if you don't do it, it's not gonna get done for you. Like you have to show up for yourself each and every day in, in any and every way possible. Like you literally have to. Shit don't get done overnight or by miracle like it really does not yeah so i just want to come on here and talk 
about that meme because I feel like it did speak to me when I seen it. And I do feel like a lot of people, and I'm so grateful that people look up to me in that way to want to ask me for advice about certain situations, and I'm always here. Um, people could, you could literally DM me, I will answer your DM. Um, you know, like people literally come to me, and I'm, like I said, I'm beyond grateful for that. So um, when I seen this post, it just spoke to me because it's like, yes, you might think I have answers, but I'm still learning the same way you are learning. Like I might have some type, some answer to help you and guide you in a certain area, but it's really in you. Like no matter what it is that you're doing, no matter what city, no state that you're in, um, like it's you. Like you have to get you to that next level. You have to invest in you. You have to, you know, drive yourself and 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 teach yourself, and you have you have to get it done. It's not gonna get done if you don't do it. So no matter how much experience you think someone has. Whatever it is that you're seeking, it's already in you. Like you are, you already have that. So yeah. Once I come in here, talk to the girls because sometimes well, it might get, it might come a time I don't have the answer. I don't know. You know, I don't want nobody to be like, Ooh. but don't think I'm gonna say girl. I'll turn to with the coast in. Charge that stuff that you don't like or want to judge to my flesh, not to my heart, because I love you. I just don't have the answers all the time. What are we doing? Okay, we need to do a highlighter. Listen, we're going to go shopping maybe next week because your girl is hitting pan on everything. Yeah, we're going to go shopping. And we need to, like, this one is slide it out the pan. It's not even, okay. I don't want to drop it on the floor right here, so we're not going to do that. Um, yeah, we're gonna go shopping so we could go pick up some makeup stuff because I have some new stuff that I want to add to my um makeup routine. Which really, this is it. Like, I honestly do my makeup in 10 15 minutes, like, I don't really do much. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know if I mentioned but we're going out, we're gonna go have some dinner. Um, I actually might vlog it so um the video that's going to be posted after this it will be in that vlog if i post it because i might not vlog um but yeah we're gonna go out pop out oh because oh my god i didn't even explain one of the reasons why we are going out um because we hit, I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Your girl hit 2 pay today. All right. No, literally. Thank you to everyone. Why is this orange like that? Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Who fucks with me the way I fuck with them? Like 2000. It's amazing. I'm very, very, very appreciative of that. And I cannot wait to continue to grow with you guys and grow on my channel and just, you know, continue to have fun because I do enjoy doing YouTube. I do enjoy vlogging and doing all this stuff. Um, and now that I have moved and, and, uh, done a lot of changes to my lifestyle and just things I want to apply myself to, I have more time. I always had the time, but like I said before, I wasn't dedicating myself to it. Like I wasn't failing and continue to go and pick up and keep going. Like If I'm gonna be honest, when the numbers got low, I, my spirit kind of got low and it's like, okay. But you know, when you enjoy something, you love doing it, you're gonna keep doing it. And I keep coming back to YouTube time and time again. And yeah, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just gonna keep applying myself and really just keep having fun with it. Um, and you guys get to come along on the journey and get to see the ins and outs of my life and hear the things that I think and you know, the process of this little bitty mind of mine. That's not old as hell saying some shit like that. Guys, I'm getting old. My birthday's in a few weeks. Not a few weeks. My birthday's in two weeks exactly. Literally two weeks exactly. I look at someone's friend. 
Okay, today it's gonna go out have a few lychee martinis lychee martinis or you might just be drinking Don Julio Acafulio because you have to what's the word oh, I'm checking that. you have to um celebrate all your wins small and big wins okay and I'm gonna celebrate them because I know how hard I've been applying myself these past really two three years and yeah yeah that's that so while this little lip thingy dries um we are going to finish up the hair i brought water in here this whole time i didn't drink any of it in here i've been over there What does new water been open? No, it has. <laughs> no, throw me one. No, that's it's new water. It's cool. I just don't play by stuff like that. Okay. So for my hair, I am going to. This is my uh, Cambodian curly. This is a 14 inch wig. I will post her down below okay literally i have not applied anything to my hair all week i've been in the gym i've been in a sauna um shit i went out last weekend she just eats down so i'm not gonna wear her too much because i like to, i don't want to go for a soaking wet look i like to just look kind of wet but not too wet and then i'm going to apply mousse and let me show you guys my number one hold on first of all i love all of shea moisture's products every last freaking product from shea moisture i love but this one is a hydrant and repairing one and um i like to use this conditioner because it is hydrated and this is And this is um Celine. Come here. This is curly hair. So with curly hair, you really want to make sure you're really hydrating that hair. Like, like I said, I've been in the sauna all week. Like dry. Dry. So I just want to make sure you're applying the proper products that are one gonna help you define your curls but to help moisturize them because healthy curls you know look they look healthy curls look better so I'm to take a little bit of this which is the curls so this is the curls aloe and blueberry juice curl moisturizer and again as you can see both the products i'm using are moisturizing products because yeah look at that Anyway, this is not supposed to be a hair tutorial. It's supposed to be chit-chatting about the beauty. But y'all get, get what I mean, right? When I say just apply yourself, pray, write affirmation, have the proper guidance and circle around you that's gonna support you and motivate you and not steer you wrong. And just don't give up even when the shit get hard and you don't know, you know, like what's coming next or if you really can't see as far as next week, two months, five years, like just keep going. Just keep going. Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. It's gonna get better. Better come sooner than you think. And it's just always so worth it. Comment down below. Comment down below um, if you guys are enjoying these meme combos and help me pick a name, guys. Like, I've been thinking of some corny ass shit. I don't know. I thought of 
means with saw. I don't know, but it's like, what should we name? Our little chit chats. Them dogs crack me up. They only get in that cage when you're close enough so they can see you. Any other time she ain't sitting in that cage, but today now she all of a sudden she wants to sit in the cage. Like girl. Um Yeah, comment down below. Help me think of some meme names. I haven't been able to think of any, I mean, not meme yet, some um, cool names for our chit chat segment. I haven't really thought of anything that stuck with me. So honestly, until something comes to me, I'm not going to put a name on it because I don't want to feel like, oh my God, I found the name and then it's not hitting and then I change it. So we're gonna wait until something truly speaks to me, okay? And when that time comes, hopefully it's not too late. Or what is too late, right? This is this is my platform. I can do what I want to do. Okay. And I know my heart isn't all the way, all the way centered. I told y'all in the last video, me and middle parts be love and hate, okay? We're going to blend in the demarcation that we have from the makeup to the lace. And I'm just going to take my contour brush and I'm literally just going to blend my makeup up. And then it's also taking whatever leftover makeup I had on there. And it's just going to blend it because I do not want that line on my forehead. And so I'm going to blend that out. Then I'm going to take the small brush that I contour my nose with and I'm just going to Add a little bit more. I want to make sure that we're covering anything that needs to be covered. And then I'm going to reapply some more of this. And then we're going to blend her in a little bit more. Because I hate harsh lines. Harsh lines, harsh demarcation. But guys, I should have made this wig so much sooner. Cause when I say this is my girl, like I love this wig. Like literally an easy everyday wig. So easy to uh, to maintenance. Like like I said, I didn't even do my hair for a whole week. This this effortless. down super cute super flirty okay let's take this off the lips as you guys know i love a cute dark liner and um i just hate i feel like once you get to drinking or after you, after your lip liner needs to be retouched one time like look at this this is no liner, just that, um, the lip tint. And I use color, I think it's Clover. I got a lot of them. I have this one, which is like, and I bought a few because I didn't know what shade I wanted to go with. But I have Clover. Yeah, this is the one I use. Clover is my girl. That's the one that gets me the shade that I need. But I have Hazel, Hazel, I guess that's what it's called. And, um, another one it's like a pinky color i want to try um but this is me i like this because even when you drink it and you smoke a hookah and you're doing all kind of stuff um your this is gonna be there like it's not gonna go anywhere um and then when you just apply liner it just enhances it and you ain't gotta put too much on but i'm like once you don't got gloss on and you talking and 
it's not giving anymore. At least for me, I go through that a lot and I have to feel like I have to keep going to the bathroom, keep reapplying it. And I just like to be cute. And I have to be that girl that's in her purse, keep applying, keep applying, because it's like, girl. I just wanna know that I can look over and be put together. So yeah, that's the look. My everyday look, my makeup, I'm not everyday, because I don't wear makeup every day. But if I wear makeup, this is, this is what you what you get. This is what I get. It gives very much, very cutesy. Okay, let me go get dressed, okay? Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you like and comment.